Okay, Joe, good to get back in the winner's enclosure, as you put it last week. A tricky game at the weekend. What are you expecting from Barnsley? I think the up there in terms of the form side in the division, uh, really good at um, what they do. Um, as I say, probably as tough of a game as, as we could ask for it based on form at the minute. But but again, a good opportunity for us to test ourselves against you know one of the promotion chasing teams in the division. Uh, but we did, you know, look in the positive, we looked back to our usual selves at Oxford in what was a tricky game, a tricky environment. You must have been pleased with them. Yeah, re really important to, to get, as I say, back, um, you know, in the winner's enclosure, three points and a clean sheet away from home at any level is, is superb. And certainly for the run we were on, it was, it was um, as I say, a, a much needed uh, shot of confidence for our group. Um, the key for us is, is continuing mm -hmm. that. And, and obviously, um, you know, we've, we've lost against Burton and, and MK in our stadium recently. And we know we face, you know, arguably the informed side in the division. So a, a good opportunity for us to, to um, show our fans, um, you know, the qualities that we possess as a team. But as I say, it's going to be a real tough game, sadly. Speaking to James Belcher earlier, he's absolutely buzzing to be back in the, in the starting line. And also he's happy to hold his hand up and accept he got a couple of things wrong. Are you happy with the way that he's um, applied himself and come back into the first team picture? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was quite vocal about the disappointment um, Belly suffered from when, when we first um, <clears throat> told him he was not going to start in the game and he's taken that on board. Uh, came back in the squad since, got an opportunity to, to you know, claim the starting jersey and, and I thought, you know, in a good team performance, you know, he, he gave that assuredness and confidence that maybe a bit of competition for places was what was required to to um, encourage that out of uh, the group. Another individual this week, Aaron Collins, is getting a few interviews of Welsh TV, possibly getting his first call up. Do you think that's a platform that he's ready to take now? Yeah, you know, that's Rob Page's decision and, and the selectors for the, for the Welsh FA, but he, he certainly can do no more. You know, he's, he's been consistent over the calendar year of, of scoring and assisting. I think his, his all-round game, his work rate, you know, the, 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 the un on um, glamorous running that he does for the side, I think is is a great um, addition to to any group. And you know, if Wales are, are looking to build another um, championship qualifying um, squad, then then certainly in, in, in terms of the calendar year, you know, he, he he deserves at least an opportunity or a closer look. But as I say, Rob will will be well aware of him. You know, obviously not not done enough to get in the World Cup squad. But, but hopefully he can get an opportunity because I think his, um, his work rate and his, in his approach to his career have certainly um, worked hard enough to, to earn an opportunity. And just finally, a third and final individual to talk about. It's great to have Lewis Gibson back at Oxford. Came off towards the end of the game. Was that just precautionary? Is, is he going to be yeah. fine for Saturday? Yeah, absolutely fine. I mean, he felt fine to kick on into the back end of it. As it was, we were, we were planning on making the substitute just before we scored. You know, 65, 75 minutes was... was um, you know, good good minutes for him considering he'd had kind of an eight an eight game layoff. Um, as it was, we we scored the third goal just as we were about to make that change, and you know, obviously give the give the lads you know Gibbo and um, um, the lads who went on in, in in that position just just enough time to close the game out and, and obviously take the sting out of the spiking load for Gibbo.